Hi, this is Mr. Shumway. This is a quick video clip about using parallel and series combinations of resistors to get specific resistor sizes. Resistors are manufactured in huge quantities um, of, a specific, of certain types, of certain values of resistors. And then circuit designers choose to add those in parallel or series to get whatever value they need. So let's say we can get um, six 21 ohm resistors from the stock room. We're trying to make a 14 ohm resistor, the equivalent of a 14 ohm resistor. Well, one third of 21 is seven and 7 plus 7 is 14. So let's take three resistors and connect them in parallel. So that means I tie their ends together and the current can go through any one of those three. They're all connected. Now I'm going to connect three more in that same configuration and each one of these is 21 ohms and those three together add like this 1 over 21 plus 1 over 21 plus 1 over 21 equals 3 over 21 and then flip it over and I have 21 over 3 which is 7. So that cluster looks like 7 ohms. This cluster looks like 7 ohms. It's built the same way. But the current has to go through both of those. So that's like a series like two 7 ohm resistors in series and so that will be the equivalent from end to end of a four, the same as a 14 ohm resistor. Let's say we want a 44 ohm resistor. We have available eight 22 ohm resistors. The simplest way would be to, well, let's do a couple of different ways anyways. If I put a 22 ohm resistor in series with a 22 ohm, then the equivalent from end to end would look like a 44 ohm resistor. Another way might be to put, uh, if I put a 22 ohm resistor in series, in parallel, <clears throat> sorry, in parallel with each other, then they would act like 11 ohm resistors, and then I would only have to put I have to put four of those in series, four of those pairs. And you might say, well, why would you do that? It's more complicated. Well, what if power requirements of those weren't quite high enough? We might have to allow two paths so that they don't burn up. So that particular combination there would look like an 11 ohm, an 11 ohm, and an 11 ohm, and an 11 ohm. And so that would look like a 44 ohm, ohm resistor.